hello family welcome to my channel peace right here well today i'll be preparing some nice lunch i'll be making tofu made out of soybeans so kindly if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing like this video share it to your friends and family so let's get into our video so i'll start by washing the soybeans and right here i'll be using three cups of soybeans so i'll wash them and then soak them in clean water for at least 12 hours before using them and this right here is how they look like the following morning that's after the 12 hours so you can see our beans have doubled in size so i'll go ahead and scoop bit by bit from the water and then put in the mortar and pound it until i get a fine paste but if you have a blender you can go ahead and use that but for us here this is what we use but this will take a little more time but hey the end result is worth it so so it's okay with all the process I'm taking now. So after pounding our beans and they are looking like this. So I'll add in water and then stir very well. I'll keep on adding water until I reach the desired texture I want. Now it's time for sieving and then we take out this pulp. So this is the cloth that I'm going to use. So I'll be using a window curtain net. Is it called like that? So I'll be using this for sieving. I'll fold it properly so that the chunks don't pass through. I only need the fine water. Look at that. So do you always buy your soy milk from the supermarkets? Just look at how easy it is to make soy milk at home. So after squeezing it so hard, this is the milk I've got from it. Just look at that. It's really so nice. So I'll go ahead and add in the remaining of the mixture. Until it's completely done, I'll just repeat the same process. So I want to make sure I've extracted all the juices from the pulp. I'll go ahead and add in more water and then squeeze it out thoroughly until it's purely clean. So here you can see clearly we've drained out most of the soy milk. And there you've got yourself the perfect soy milk. Made from home, not star boat. So I just go ahead and scoop up the foam. And then I'll set it on fire. until it boils but I'll keep on stirring so that it doesn't stick at the bottom so you can see from this side the milk is starting to boil I'll let it cook for about five minutes and just like cow milk soy milk can also overflow if you don't stir it well, that's enough, so I'll set it aside and let it cool for about two minutes. So after two minutes, this is how our soy milk will be looking like. So I'll go ahead and scoop off this layer.
And then right now, I'll go ahead and stir in juice from three lemons, but I'll do it slowly by slowly. I'll then let it sit for about an hour. Lemon juice doesn't work like vinegar. It takes a little longer. So I'll let it sit for one hour. So it's exactly an hour later. And surprise! Well, our mixture has separated properly. You can clearly see the water is separate. And the chunks are this big. At this stage, I'll go ahead and pour the mixture in the sieve so I can drain out all the water. So we have to drain out as much liquid as possible. Then I'll go ahead and fold it so that it can come out in a more rectangular or squared shape. So I'll use this saucepan and just place it on top for two hours to help put weight on the tofu so that it drains out most of the water. And just like that, our homemade tofu is ready. I think I should break it from here. Put some water here and then I'll let it sit in this water for about 30 minutes. There. So if we'll sit here for 30 minutes, then we shall proceed. So after soaking it in water, I'll now go ahead and slice it into small pieces. So right here I'll just be adding salt and pepper. So you can see that if it's firm enough, it can't split. And just like that, our first batch is ready. There are very many ways of preparing tofu. So this is one of them. You can eat it like that. Or you can go ahead and prepare a sauce from it and then eat it with food. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.